you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your partner is someone already met and you already knew from your past, but it has not got into you for this particular reason. This is a good word and it's a good word. It's, it's really a good word because it's going to set a lot of things straight and it's going to take you to who you're supposed to be. Now, did I say it loud? Your partner is somebody you already knew in your past, is somebody from your past, is somebody that you've already met, but they have not gotten to you yet for this particular reason. You know, somebody just wants to know the reason and order. Somebody just <clears throat> wants to know everything. Calm down, my dear, calm down my darling so i'm going to explain this and when i explain it you're going to know if i'm speaking to you or if i'm not speaking to you you're going to understand if, if this prophetic word is for you all right so um <clears throat> i i'm happy because a lot of us look away there is nothing for us so i want to see i'm happy because this is going to, it's a deliverance, okay? It's going to deliver you. It's going to deliver you. This is deliverance, okay? Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, if you are seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord blesses you, rewards you if you're consistent and let there be a change. Let there be a transformation. May the good Lord do something great and something new and something amazing in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So a lot of us have made the mistake of looking out for somebody who is far off and who is not going to give us what we want rather than seeing somebody who has been around us all this while. So God is telling you there is somebody around you who knows you better, who would love you better, who can take good care of you, who can give you what you want. But we have what we want. We have high aims. We have high standards. Now, I love good things. I love good people. I love good looking somebody, okay? So I'm not saying that you don't go for what is good, you don't go for what is high standard, and you don't go for what is amazing. But I've come to that place and that realization where I seek more for peace. I'm at the period and I'm at the season and I'm at the stage in my life whereby even if you're my best friend or even if you're my best person, you're my favorite human, no matter who you are, even if you're too close to my heart, the moment you do something that takes away or shifts my peace away from me, I avoid you. I ignore you. I ignore you. Even if you're my own blood. You know why? Because if I am not peaceful and something happens to me, they're going to look for somebody else, even if they are your own blood. You know, I had to take that decision because of experience, because of what I've been through. And that is why I don't judge people. There are people who grow up and then they start changing. You're looking at them like, ah, this person is changing. What happened before the person changed? It gets to a stage and it gets to a path, a, a path or a period of your life whereby you want your own peace, you want your own life, you want everything good for yourself. All right, so that is it. So most of the times we want to seek from afar. Most of the times we are checking out, oh, is this person from afar that is going to give me the happiness? But your happiness is within you. Your happiness has surrounded you. Your happiness is around you. But you're seeking from afar. There is somebody who loves you, 
who would do anything, who would want to just make you happy. There are people who would love you, like, they would love you. But there are people who are very difficult. Somebody can love you, but it's very difficult. Somebody can love you and it's very easy. Choose who is easy. Somebody can love you and it's very difficult. Somebody can love you and it's very easy. Choose who is easy because it's not all about love. All right? Life is ease, peace, happiness. You don't want somebody who gives you hard times and you don't want to stay there because you say, ah, this person loves me. You want somebody who loves you and who is simple to understand, you know. Now, there is somebody who loves you so much, who had loved you before and keeps loving you. But this is the reason why they have not come to you again. Now, this prophetic word is describing somebody who had come to you before like more than one times and tell you how much they love you and how much they want to be with you but then you did not want to be with them because you had your own reasons and all that but they still love you but you had been to you had been with somebody who disappointed you you had been with somebody who um you could not be with this particular person anymore. And one of the reasons why you rejected this person because you already knew it was a nice person is because you were entangled already. Now you're no more with this particular person and this person still in your past is still available. But they're so afraid to come to you because they feel like if you come to be together, they are going to be with you and trust you and put their hearts and their minds on you. And then you're going to go back maybe to your ex. You're going to disappoint them. So the reason they haven't come back to you and the reason they haven't say, I love you, the reason they are so afraid of their hearts being broken, they are so afraid that you're going to disappoint them. Why am I giving this particular word for you to be open? for you to be friendly, for you to make up your mind. Stop going back to your vomit. You can eat your cake and have it back. Look at who is going to do and who is willing to be with you and give them a chance. Your partner is someone from your past, has come to you, you rejected them, they still love you and they still want you. Be sensitive. I pray that God gives you better clarity about this word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please do not forget to like, share, and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing. This is the kind of word you must share to somebody. Hallelujah. And please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. Please call my name in the place of your prayers. Pray for me as never before. Thank you so much for praying. Thank you so much for all your dedication and your love. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you, I told. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.